Hi, this is Ron Key with KeyCon, welcoming you back to our uh, project here that we've been sharing with you. So here we are, as you can see, we've got our wall finishes in. Um, some of the interesting aspects to this is we have this step detail with a lot of the Eichler homes, they have the paneling. Um, and with the new construction, we're putting a lot of sheetrock in, but we're keeping a very clean contemporary style with the detailing at the windows. And, uh, and the colors are in, ceilings, beams. And uh, as we're here in this kitchen, we're gonna have a, uh, a little kind of desk area here, workstation for the kitchen. The ovens and the microwaves will go here with a little pantry right here. A nice large island here. It's gonna have a tile backsplash. The cabinets are a horizontal grain bamboo here with some mahogany and other areas we'll show you here in a minute. Sink here, beautiful windows, lots of light coming in. Um, we have skylights up here providing more light. A very large refrigerator for a large family here. Cabinetry here, additional pantries. And um, here's where you can see some of the mahogany cabinets underneath here in contrast to the bamboo. It's gonna look quite beautiful. Also, if you look closely, you can see the floor right here. This is a, a wood-grained tile floor. So it's kind of the best of the both worlds in that, in that it simulates wood very beautifully, but it's a ceramic tile which works really fantastic with the um, radiant heat. And actually, it's a porcelain tile, not a ceramic tile. Okay, here we are in the dining room area, as you may recall. We were showing you this area where it was framed up before going out to the courtyard and embracing that. I believe I also talked about this fireplace previously, the masonry fireplace, where we had to cut it down and cap it and put a new uh, dual pipe, sheet metal pipe here. But we're still keeping a very contemporary look with it, being able to maintain a lot of the existing aspects of it while still retrofitting it to meet today's current uh, requirements for safety and seismic uh, from a seismic standpoint especially. The stairs are fabricated from steel. It's a floating stair look. They will have cable rails, a stainless steel cable rails with um, two inch thick granite slab treads and landings. Then we walk here into the entryway. Uh, our entry door will go right here. This will be our entry uh, foyer. Uh, which is a nice large foyer. It was, it, there wasn't a large entrance before you walked in and the kitchen was right there and the bedroom hallway was right here, but now we actually have an entrance and an area where uh, the children when they come in actually have what they call a drop zone, a place where they can put their backpacks or shoes or coats, take them on, put them, you know, take them off, put them on as they're going in and out of the house during the course of the day. Um, this door will have glass above and glass on this side and will swing here towards me. These are um, custom doors that we actually built using cabinet material to match the kitchen cabinet so that all ties together. And as we slide it open here, we have the bench seat here and then storage shelving here. So as we step here into this other bedroom, you'll notice the different shadings on the floor and the reason for that is because the floor was at a level, we had to it was out of level about an inch and we had to add some leveling materials to float this floor out level and we had to do that through a large portion of the house as well to make this function and work properly. There's a large window here that we've added which is egress so it provides a lot of good light into this house uh, on the windows. This was the, the master bedroom Originally, now they have two options for a master bedroom or a media entertainment center, either upstairs or downstairs, however they decide to utilize it. Uh, sliding glass door going out to the courtyard and another bedroom here. So these are our new stairs, as you can see, they're pretty solid. And uh, once the treads are in and the handrails are in, it's gonna be quite spectacular. Uh, but one of the things we talked about the last time here was this uh, corner window with a floating beam. Now you can start to see what it looks like as it comes closer towards being a finished product. 
All right, and so this is um, most probably going to be used as an entertainment media room area up here where all the family can come watch TV, the Super Bowl, um, all that type of stuff, a home movie theater, uh, possibly. So this is all wired for that over here. Um, and for heating in this second floor area, what we've done is installed here on the wall, right here, uh, what's known as a mini split unit, which is a space heater and an air conditioning system for this second floor. So that should be very adequate for this second floor. <clears throat> we didn't have to go to a major expense modifying the um, whole radiant heating system in order to accommodate the second floor addition. So um, one of the things that we did right here is this has a glass window here so that it gives a beautiful view downstairs to the downstairs area. And this is quite a spectacular view from here, I think, as it gets to be painted out and finished and the stairs and the handrails get finished. It's gonna be quite an intriguing stairwell and light well. Then down here is where we put this bench seat in this uh, corner window. This will be a wonderful space for people to sit and read. There will be some additional um, storage underneath that. When we originally started with this house, we worked for oh, a half a year to three quarters of a year trying to figure out how to accommodate a family of six in a house on this size lot. And there was no way to get a third bathroom in and the space that the family needed. And so that was what drove the decision to go to a second story addition. And now we have created this additional bathroom for this family. It's a beautiful space. Um, as you can see coming in here again, you can see the floor and the material to create the bench seat for the shower. And we have these floating cabinets here on the walls. We have this wood grain porcelain tile for the floor and the uh, seating bench, and which will then integrate into a, a frameless shower enclosure. We have kind of a, a pebble stone floor, which works really nice for non-skid and adds interest. And then a, a simple tile with an accent strip that just to add a little um, more flare to the shower so it's not just an overly boring shower. But uh, quite beautiful. And then a skylight above, which provides quite a bit of light. And these are uh, the Rover and Medicine cabins, which actually have electrical outlets where you can plug in different types of bathroom appliances or devices, electric toothbrushes, hair dryers, razors, electric razors, things of that nature. So one of our big purposes and intents was try to embrace this courtyard into the house more. And I think we've done a really good job of that with adding interest to the second story, the stairwell, and this ceiling as it slopes up, inviting us into the dining room and inviting the courtyard into the house. So that indoor-outdoor feel that's so important with uh, you know, a mid-century modern home, an Eichler home, I think we've actually enhanced that and created a really beautiful um, interpretation of that design concept.